How's it everyone? Welcome to another video right here on Open Court. So right now I am in Japan. I actually lived here for almost seven years. I played tennis here a lot and Japanese tennis products are becoming more and more popular in the States. Specifically, Yonex has been getting a lot of attention recently. So on this video, I just wanted to introduce some Yonex products that are not rackets or strings that maybe you guys might be interested in trying if you guys ever come to Japan. So first up, Yonex actually makes a dampener. Now I don't have the actual dampener here with me, but this is what the Yonex dampener looks like. It's like an upside down pyramid and it's actually very effective. It's small enough that it doesn't uh, increase the swing weight and become cumbersome that much, but it's also firm enough that it drowns out the sound and it absorbs the vibration. It also doesn't go flying off your racket if you hit it accidentally. It's very firm, it fits into the string bed very snugly. So if you guys are in Japan, give the Yonex dampener a try. You might be surprised. Next up, overgrips. Now I'm sure some of you guys have heard of Yonex's overgrip before. It's called the Super Grap and it's very popular. It's up there with the Wilson Pro as my favorite overgrip. They feel very similar. They have a very similar level of tack. The width is about the same. The Super Grap Yonex is a little bit thicker than the Wilson Pro, but not by much. So you won't increase your grip size that much if you use the Super Grap. So try this out. It's slightly on the tacky side, but not super tacky. So for me, when I play in Hawaii back home, the Super Grap and the Wilson Pro are very good. So check out the Yonex Super Grap if you guys get a chance. Now moving on from overgrips, we have base grips. Now, I was at a store recently. Um, the store is called Super Sports Zebio here in Hiroshima, Japan. and I found this base grip here at that store and it is called the Yonex Custom Thin Grip. What is unique about this base grip? It is the thinnest base grip that I've ever seen. On the back over here, it says uh, thickness is 1.2 millimeters. That is the thinnest base grip I have ever seen. So if you guys are looking to decrease your grip size, if your handle is too thick, Try this out if you can find it. The Yonex Custom Thin Grip, 1.2 millimeter thickness. It is very thin and it will decrease your grip size, make it smaller, more comfortable in your hand. And lastly, we got these Yonex balls here. So I saw this packaging and I thought to myself, I just had to buy this. So this is a very interesting packaging. If you guys can see, this is actually called Breakback, it's a Japanese manga that's based on tennis. I've never personally read it, but I saw the package and I'm like, I gotta get this. This ball is called the Yonex Tour Platinum Ball and it is $16 for this can of four balls. That is by far the most expensive ball that I've ever personally found on the market. So it's $4 a ball. I normally use the Pro Pen balls that they sell at Costco, which are like three or $4 a can. So this is a very expensive ball. So I'm gonna hit with this real quick. I'll give you my thoughts. I'll be right back. So after playing a full doubles match with the Yonex Tour Platinum Ball, I can say this much. It's definitely better than the usual balls I play with, which are the Wilson Championship or the Pro Pen Balls. Those are cheap, so I get what I pay for, but the Yonex Tour Platinum Ball feels better. My shots feel like they have a little more weight to them and I like the feel of the ball as my racket makes contact. The ball feels slightly heavier than the Pro Pen balls, so I feel like I'm hitting a little harder than usual. It has a very satisfying pop. So how's the durability? It lasts a little longer than the Pro Pen or Wilson Championship balls, but after a full match, I squeezed the ball and it felt like it lost some air. I could push my fingers into the ball I probably wouldn't use the same balls to play another match, but I will definitely use them for warm up or practice the next time. So I really like these Yonex Tour Platinum balls, but are they worth 16 bucks? No, they're not. Any ball that I would stop using for matches after one use is not worth $4 a ball. If I was rich, I would probably use these balls fresh for every match I play because they actually feel really good, much better than the Pro Pen balls from Costco but I would stop using them both after one match all the same. So I'll stick to something that lasts a little longer or something that's cheaper, such as the Dunlop ATP or the HD balls. Those actually last a lot longer and I would use those balls for two matches before I start using them only for practice.
So thank you for watching this video of these Yonex products that they have here in Japan. I hope you guys get a chance to try some of these out. Yonex makes great products. There are other great Japanese tennis brands out there. So I encourage you guys to give many different things a try to see what works for your game. Thank you for watching this video. If you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you on an open court.